Right now, we are just minutes away from Title 42 expiring. This is a live look at the border near El Paso. Officials say the number of migrants trying to cross the border tonight is increasing by the hundreds. At midnight, the new Biden administration immigration policies take effect. Now, take a look. This was the scene earlier today. Tonight, several Texas counties have issued disaster declarations. One Border Patrol chief telling CBS News 60,000 migrants are waiting near the border. CBS News' is Nicole Skanga is in Brownsville, Texas tonight. Migrants rushed to the Texas border to enter the U.S. as the clock ticked down on the immigration policy known as Title 42. Crowds also lined up at the border crossings into Arizona and California, while others waded through the Rio Grande. We have surged 24,000 Border Patrol agents and officers, thousands of troops, contractors, and over 1,000 asylum officers and judges to see this through. Since March 2020, pandemic-related rules allowed border officials to quickly expel asylum seekers. As Title 42 ends, new Biden administration rules mean migrants entering the U.S. illegally could be barred from returning for five years and face possible prosecution. Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz visited Brownsville. This is a decision that was made by President Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and congressional Democrats to open up the border to what is nothing less than an invasion. In Washington, House Republicans passed the Secure the Border Act of 2023. The measure would resume construction of the border wall and tighten the ability to apply for asylum. Meanwhile, cities like New York are seeing rising numbers of newcomers. We could potentially get thousands of people a day in our city. Mayor Eric Adams says he's running out of options after New York has cared for more than 61,000 asylum seekers over the last year. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, Brownsville, Texas. Now, a confidential memo obtained by CBS2 New York tonight says the city is considering closing large sections of streets for temporary housing.